So hello everyone, welcome again and I'm gonna continue the aspect flow tutorial series and in this video we'll cover the scenario context. So or you can say in other word, how can we pass the data in the aspect flow from one step to other step? So here uh, scenario context will come into picture to help us to send the data from one step to second step in a single scenario. So as you can see, scenario context and aspect flow is the solution to this problem. This uh, problem is how can we how to pass the value between the step definitions and the spec flow so to set the data like in the any step some data you want to set so you have to use scenario context dot current dot add and this will be your key to get the data in the next step and this will be your value next thing how can you uh, get the data so to get the data just need to pass the scenario context dot current and the key which we have set in the previous step and convert it into a string or whatever the data type so store the data in this so you can see here in the screenshot there it will be a key and this is the value for that key and whenever when we are going to get the data in the step definition we'll just pass the key so now switch to the uh, spec flow and as my visual studio and perform the task key again I'm going to use the same example so if you are following this tutorial series you have seen this example for the scenario outline and this is for the tables in the spec flow and this is the for the parameterization in the spec flow and now we are going to use this as a scenario context example so I can use this one also as a previously so what just brief about the scenario is going to open the URL going to enter a message in the input box and click to the submit button and verify the data which we have entered. So for example I need to get this parameter data and going to pass the parameter data in this step to verify that exactly the data is available or not. So whatever the data we enter is display or not in the execution so how can you do that just move to the uh, definition file just scratch this down a little bit okay and now <coughs> we are going to send the message there just set the data in the scenario context so it's come to the like scenario context dot current and dot add <coughs> and I'm going to pass two parameter the first one will be my key and the second will be my value so my value this time is message and the key will be you can write get message or we can say message simply msg and we'll see this time I'm, I'm, I'm gonna use the same key as a value so this is a variable so whatever the message it will get it will pass to this key and will get this key into the next step so what is my next step next step is going to click no and this step we want and another in the last step and user can see the data so how can I get the data so you can again create a scenario context dot current and need to pass the key here so my key was message I guess and I see in a small okay I just copy the key and pass the key here and now I need to store this value in a string variable so string message equals to this and just convert this into a string so forcefully I'm going to use the two string method now okay so this message will come from the browser like this element will display and this element the, the, the value when user click on the button then the message is display on the label so this is the path of this field and it will get the data and store in this so we can put the assertion there this is a meaningful example I guess so let's console it out and let's put assertion assert dot is true message dot contains message it means both should be same this is one right? so if it's gonna pass it will show the data so now let's build it and run it again I think it should be work 
and for the console also for i can print a message so it will be clear to that the message is coming from the next step so message coming from the above step okay run it and check the output now so the browser is going to opening now I'm gonna maximize it click to the simple form demo button and enter the hello code one message the message is there now it's pass it means this this condition is true and just check the output so in the output you can check the message coming from the worst step is hello code one so this is the way you can pass the data from one step to other step and verify it and uh, this is called the scenario context inspect flow and <coughs> we'll provide the link in the description box for this article so you can read the, out this detail this thing in a detail and and in the next video we'll cover some more interesting topic or the spec flow i think i have covered maximum topic which is really needful from the advanced level we can go with uh, uh, like report generation how can we import the extend um, integrate the extend report we can generate the report and how the most important the hooks implement in the BED so how can we implement the bit this the, the hooks will be the real time example of to uh, solve the problem that on the every execution we are getting the new browser if I run the bunch of test cases like suite of the test cases then then the browser will open um, multiple times like whenever the new test case will run the new browser will open so we'll implement this thing in the hooks so we'll, we'll use some text like some end unit text over there like before uh, so it before after test case or before test case so uh, thank you and please subscribe the channel if you like the uh, videos and you need more help and if you have any question any doubt in the spec flow you can comment me out in the comment section thank you